everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the brand new Boxing Day miniature, the abhorrent ghoul king with the crown of delusion. Yes, here he is, he looks awesome. Fantastic miniature, sent to me early by Games Workshop to paint up for all of you and well we're just going to jump in and we're going to start doing this. He has been primed in grey sear and the paste we're going to be working on first is all of the flesh. Now the colour we're going to be using is a roughly four parts Creed Camo to one part Rattling Grime. And we're just going to take this and we're going to start applying this over the top of all of his flesh. So we're just going to start down here on the leg. We're just going to apply this like so. All over. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over his talons, his fingernails, and any of the kind of sort of growths is probably the best way to describe them. We've got a couple of talons down here on each of his feet. Like that. We've got his fingernails. Like that, and then on his back, we've got these kind of areas here. Now what we want to do is we want to be careful here when we meet the green. If we do overlap that a little bit, what we can do is wash the brush. And then with a clean brush, Just smooth it out a little bit. And then continue on. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna create a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Cygore Brown and Black Templar. And we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our leather. So we've got the cape and we've got the tabard or loincloth. really kind of dark, dirty brown, which is what this mix gives us. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Basilicanum Grey and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the stone. It's tough to know where to start. We're going to start just here. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to aim to have a nice smooth coat here by just doing these nice big broad brush strokes.
So with that Basilicanum Grey all applied, as you can see, what we're going to do now is we're going to take two colours, Skeleton Horde and Wildwood. We're going to use this to do a little bit of blending on all of the kind of long fangs or bones and things that are on him and on the chair. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use the Skeleton Horde to paint in the bones at his feet and the Wildwood to paint in the strings holding stuff on the chair. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde like this on our brush. I'm just going to pick one of these things to start on and I'm going to start just here. So we're just going to apply that Skeleton Horde like this over the top of the bone like that. We're then going to wash the brush and then going to grab a tiny little bit of Wildwood and then just towards the bottom we're going to add the Wildwood and add a little bit of it just there above where the, the fold is. Wash the brush, grab a little bit of Skeleton Horde and just use that to smooth it out like so. If you want to, you can always grab a little bit more Wildwood towards the bottom. Like that. And then once again, wash the brush, grab a little bit of skeleton hoard, and just add that there. Just to smooth out that transition a little bit, like that. Similarly, on the bones on the ground, we're going to take that skeleton hoard, way too much there, and we're going to apply this over the top of all of them, like this. And we're also going to apply this over the skull that he's holding. Like that. And then lastly, I'm going to take some wildwood and use that paint in the string. So with that done across all of the bones, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some thins down retributor armor. We're going to apply this to the pommel and the cross guard on the sword, as well as crown of delusion itself. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of the sword blade. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some shades. And the first one we're going to add is Agrax Earthshade. And we're going to apply this to the sword blade. And with that Agrax Earth Shade applied, we're then going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of the gold.
So with that done, our Ghoul King is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. He's looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave him there. No, we're going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do this by brightening him right up. Now, the colour we're going to be using first to do this is Nurgling Green. And what we're going to be doing here is essentially re-layering all of the flesh. We'll do this here on the arm. And we're just going to be applying this over the top of all of the raised details, avoiding all of the recesses. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down iron rack skin. And we're gonna use this to now highlight all of the muscles and facial features. So we're just gonna be picking out the edges. Like that sort of thing, however, on areas like the shoulders here, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it and we're also going to draw some small lines going across Like that. So with that done, the skin's looking pretty awesome. Well, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tiny amount of Achillean green. I'm gonna apply this to the underside and to the top part. Of the Ghoul King's eyes. So with that Achillean green applied, we're then gonna take a tiny, tiny dot of Screaming Skull. We're gonna apply this over the top of the eyeball. Just like that. So with that done, the face is finished. So what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Magos Purple and we're gonna kind of stipple it around this little area. like this, and then we're gonna wash the brush. And we're just gonna take most of that off on the flat surface. Like this, we just want a little bit of bruising. So with that done, all of the skin and the face of our Ghoul King is now finished. So what we're gonna do is move on to the next color. And that's gonna be some thinned down Dawnstone. Now we're gonna be doing this in two different ways. So firstly, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the Dawnstone to highlight all of the black details on the Ghoul King itself. So we're just gonna be picking out the teeth here, for example.
like that. But similarly, transferring over to a slightly bigger brush, we're going to be using this Dawnstone to effectively relayer the chair. So what we're going to be doing here, we're just going to be painting this over the top of all of the flat surfaces, avoiding the kind of inner details. like that sort of thing. So with that Dawnstone all applied, as you can see, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Administratum Grey, a very small amount, and we're going to use this to highlight the black details, just adding little dots. at the sharpest points on the Ghoul King. So with that done, we're then gonna take some Administratum Grey once again, and we're gonna dry brush this over the top quite heavily of the chair. with that administratum grey applied as a dry brush, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Targor Raid Shade. And we're basically gonna shade this all over the top of all of the stone, excluding the darkest recesses on the inside of the chair. So with that done, the chair is still drying at the moment, but it's looking pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down Screaming Skull. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our bones and our, well, bones. They're all bones. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Steel Legion Drab. We're gonna use this to highlight our dark brown leather.
And with that Steel Legion Drab applied, we then take a teeny tiny amount of Karak Stone. And we just add this to the sharpest points on all of our dark leather. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron breaker and we're going to use this to highlight the silver. So with that iron breaker all applied, we're then going to take a little bit of liberator gold and use this to highlight gold. So with that done, we're going to do a little bit of an optional stage here. What we're going to do is we're going to take some Nylac Oxide, not very much of this at all, and on the gold, we're just going to add a little bit of it. into the recesses. And similarly for another little bit of an optional bit of weathering, what we're going to do is we're going to take some scrag brown on our brush, this is a medium layer brush, and we're just going to, on a bit of tissue paper, dab most of it off, like that. And then, just around this kind of area, we're just going to stipple very gently some of that scrag brown. There, like that, just to give it a little bit of a rusted effect. And so finally, just to finish off, what we're going to do is going to take a teeny tiny amount of Stormhost Silver, and we're going to apply this to the sharpest points on both the gold and the silver. And so with the base complete, our abhorrent ghoul king with the crown of delusion is now finished. And I think he looks fantastic. This was a wonderful surprise miniature at the end of the year. And it's just so characterful and awesome. And it makes me very excited for some more fleshy accord stuff that will come in the future, I am sure. It's just a really fun faction. I've always really liked them. And they are the one that I've got marked down as being my death army when I eventually get around to getting to the rest of the Grand Alliance death. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And, if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.